What up, YouTube? MGDFX representing iGame2 TV. Um, I'm here to tell you today how to know if a Steam sale is worth it. And we're going to go through some steps so you can know. Unless it's a game that you've really, really, really been looking for. And it's like, wow, the game is like in my price range. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. But what if you're looking for a new experience and they put a game on sale that you might have been thinking about getting, but then they put a tremendous sale. Like, let's take, for instance, Need for Speed. 70% off. Five ninety nine. So how would I tell? Do I really want to go for Need for Speed? All right, let's take a look. First, we click on the page, you know, go through some pictures, see if they have any videos, yada, 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 all that good stuff. Next, see if your friends are playing it. If none of your friends are actually playing, in, like, any of these games, then more than likely, unless you have, like, no friends on Steam, it's not a real popular game and you can also check out like look that you know it's recommended by this many people to their friends now the next thing that you have to look out for is the metacritic score right now don't just look at 86 out of 100 and say wow that's a high score nah buddy you click on the metacritic and you actually have to go to the page now you see the 86 score right the 86 for is for professional reviewers. But what do actual gamers have to say? Actual gamers, gamers give it a 6.5. A 6.5 out of 10. That's a kind of failing if you're in school. But All right, let's check it out. Now, if we look at the reviews. Now, I don't go do most helpful because with PC games a lot of times when they first come out they'll have bugs and PC games games are actually actually better cuz you know you can get patches updates and all that good stuff which makes the game like fix things that the players actually want fixed in a reasonable amount of time usually depending on the developer now um so i usually go by date and so if you click on by date you can see, hey, it's a lot of people giving it a 9 and a 10. Oh, there goes a 4. But then you look, okay. Mm, wow, you know, it's kind of sketchy. They even got a 0 here. But look at this 0. The 0 was last year, September 17, 2012. So, I don't know. So, you read these reviews. Okay, fine. So, you go to your friend's. Email your friends, you read a few reviews, and I'm not saying just go to Metacritic. There's tons of different websites you can actually go to to, like, check out reviews of games and stuff like that. But I digress. Now, let's move on to price. How do you tell if the price is actually worth it? Now, Need for Speed, how much was that? It was $5.99, right? 70% off. Sounds like an awesome deal. But how good is it? All right, let's go to this other website. And all these websites are going to be down in the description. SteamGameSales.com It used to be just for Steam. Back in the days, it used to be so much easier to like um, to look for games because it was just for Steam. Now they added a whole bunch of other stuff. So you click off the Gamer's Gate. You click off the Green Man Gaming. You click off the GOG. And you look. We're looking for Need for Speed, right? All right, let's see. Need for Speed. You all will probably see it before I see it. Um, all right, here we go. Need for Speed. Is that the right one? Okay, good. Well, all the Need for Speeds are actually on sale, right? All right, but let's look at this one, all right, because it's the five ninety nine one. All right, so Need for Speed. No, 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 no. Is that the correct one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go for it. Oh, got to make sure you're actually looking at the right game. So it's Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. So we have to look for Hot Pursuit here. Right. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, 70% off, 
five ninety nine one day ago on Steam. So don't click on the name because the name will just take you to the Steam page. You go to view history because you want to see a history of what's what are the sales like on the game. So if you check the game out, you can see the different sales price right now. Five ninety nine, seventy percent off. Ooh wee! When it first came up, the first sale was like. Oh, well, it was 29 whatever. And then the sales went 14 went back up to $17, $10, $9. All right. Well, don't don't worry about Gamers Gate unless you're on it. $9.99. Now, Steam had it for $4.99 May 7th this year, 2013. Now it's $5.99. July 11th. I don't know. Do you really want to wait around to save that dollar? Is it worth it? Is the game even worth it from the reviews? You have to decide that, unless it's really like a game that you're looking for. So um, I hope this helps. Check out um, your favorite review site. Check out um, SteamGameSales.com and just wait for those Steam sales to come. Sometimes they're worth it. Uh, sometimes they're not. So you be the judge if you learned anything put a comment down if you like it hit that thumbs up and if you want to subscribe it'll be highly appreciated i'm mgdfx representing igame2 tv